And they were more like it was on a rocking ship than when I got to Virginia. Alright, so guys, good morning everyone. Ladies and gentlemen. Is it the afternoon? It's been the afternoon for a solid hour. See, but unless, unless you're these two who usually wake up after this point, that's true. Good morning. In fact, it's like good almost midnight for you guys. No, I'm exhausted. I got up way too early. Yeah, you did. It was like, what, 11? Yeah, 11. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna wake everybody up right now. So I need, over here, I just need a. Uh, uh, I need a. Oh, I need it together. I need a. Oh, you yeah. Now we need a. Yes, this keyboard should do the trick. That's on. <clears throat> so good morning or afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to Magic of Christmas in DC. You guys are the first ones to experience the fun. Yeah! No. Someone got the reference. Everyone got the reference. I, I was referring to uh, in that scene, Bambi. Yeah, Bambi. When when Feline is. Fleet from Bambi, right? Yeah. Female character. Yeah, the love interest three. character. Right. Yeah, the generic Disney love interest character. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Flash interest. I want to mix it up, you know? Flash. I want Feline to go into Aladdin. That would be. Uh, thinking. What? <laughs> Feline's the, the deer. Bambi's I've never seen girl Bambi. comes to the Disney. <laughs> I'm sorry. I heard it was too sad. I don't care. I don't see anything. He's never seen it. Okay. Okay. It's, it's sad. It is sad. All I heard. Disney movies. Are scary. Like Sleeping Beauty? That is so crazy. Sleeping Beauty is scary. It's okay, so no. Like, that used to scare the poop. Those were not children's movies. Really? I had to wear a diaper when I watched that. Because I was cool. Like so, as you can tell by not what's going on up here, this is the comedy workshop. And what we're going to be doing, it's going to be a lot of. I'll work. get the hammer. <laughs> hammer. It's going to be a lot of uh, interactive. We're going to be tying in you guys, the audience into a lot of this, so we're going to have a lot of fun in the next hour. Yes, this is about getting you all involved, the creative juices going, get you guys in the mind of improv and quick thinking. So well, I got a couple of games here, and what we're going to do, cranberry is the creative juice, just in case you guys want oh. Really? Yeah. And we're going to think of a creative color. And we're going to do it quickly. Green is not a creative color. I'll, I'll Good question. Have any of you had any training in improv before comedy? <laughs> oh, okay. You're more qualified to uh, probably than I am. I had training, but it's 10 years ago, and I have to since then. Well, that doesn't count. It expires after 10 years. I'm not sure if you have. Yes, Father. Yeah, I would have just been without a personality. Can you guys help me some? No. no. I think we need to lose one in the audience right now. <laughs> <laughs> Tragically, born without a personality. Oh, right. So, Saber, uh, well, I guess we should first off go through introductions. I have no idea who you guys are. But, uh, who do we got here? Uh, my name's David Spark. Hello. Hello, David Spark. Oh, I'm AC Race Best. Hey, guys. Hey. I'm Andrew Brown. Do a backflip. I've never seen you do those. I'm a skull creep. Like, seriously? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Gabriel Brown. Some people call me Black Griffin, but I like to punch them. So none of you will come. I'm just kidding. I actually like my nickname. Mr. Spice Kids. Ha ha! Ha ha! You see? Yes, he knows. My brother and I had a YouTube channel when, when YouTube started. Right? 2004. Like 14 and 12 or something. And we, it was named Christ Kids. And then, uh, and then I never thought that I would do anything on my YouTube channel, but I, we did the project be a Brody song, and I just uploaded it to there. Uh, and then it started getting a lot of music songs. Like that one. So then I started putting more stuff up there, and then my name on Deep Heart was Black Griffin, which didn't come from Milo Fun. Anyway, it's hard to explain. Yeah. Well, the company that makes vegetables is called Christ Kids. Oh, no, so, vegetables. Yeah, Chris Zero. No, 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 no. Claire's in vegetables. No, no. Well, that's in anything. No, not vegetables. Um, you two want penguins. Same thing. Oh. <laughs> penguins, vegetables, close them. Yeah. Penguins are vegetables. Hey, right? Penguins. 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 So what we're going to be doing here is demonstrating some improv games, just some training. 
And some of these games, they aren't like Booze Line, where they're all for entering the audience. A lot of these games are just to serve the purpose of getting you all to think quickly on your feet, to get the juices going, to, to be sharp, and get you in that improv. Right, and to, to, uh, to start off, uh, everyone in the audience, we need you all to get on the ground and do 20 push-ups. No. He's <laughs> <laughs> the, the only one that's gonna learn. <laughs> yeah, ready. Uh oh, there we go. Right. See, now you can tell by this who's actually in the military. Yeah, actually. <laughs> all right. So what's the plan? I got a couple games here, and the first one's called Speak in One Voice, and this is 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh! Well done. <laughs> so I'll speak in one voice. And funny enough, a lot of these games we have not done together before. But they're pretty easy. So that's what improv is all about. Yeah. Easy. So in this game, it's about trying to think as one with your team, to look them in the eye. Yes, it's called speak as one. So what happens is we all want to say the same word at the same time and carry on a sentence. Like, I'd be like, we want to go outside because it's Christmas morning. I can't wait to go home. Suggest things. So, uh, give me a Christmas setting. Give me something that's dinner. dinner. Christmas dinner, then. Okay. So we it's Christmas dinner, and I suppose then we're the family. Uh, okay. All right. So what's uh, no doesn't matter it's individual. So um, what's the what's what's going on at dinner? Are they... Everyone's naked. Everyone's naked. Okay. All right. All right. Everyone, everyone's thinking of Christmas dinner, ready? Yes. And, and by the way, what's important about this game is looking at your fellow actors up here, looking at their mouths and making eye contact because we don't want looking somebody... Looking at their mouths and making eye contact. Well, looking at their faces, shh, and... Shh! Because, you know, it's not about one person leading the charge, it's about saying at the same pace and trying to form a coherent sentence. So, you know, Michelle and I actually, we did, before we knew about this, we got really, really good, good at it. it. So that's one of the things said, okay, right. okay. Don't, Don't take, take my, my cow, cow young sir. sir. I'm paying you the big, big bucks. bucks. If we I don't, don't stand agree no with you, <laughs> just stop charging. <laughs> stop charging over there. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Let's right go. Yeah, all right. Oh, oh boy. It's Christmas dinner! Oh, yeah. You guys are sneaking! Oh no! How exciting! Best the gravy! And the witch cream! Oh! Go where it's like, hi, how are 
you doing today? I am doing great. And I want to go to the store and buy some apples. <laughs> <laughs> great. <laughs> simple one to get on, but uh, a couple of things though, right. I'm banning the words and and but. Ooh, that's good. Not like that. <laughs> so can I say the A word? No. Can I say ampersand? You can't, you can't say apple. I meant yeah, no. ampersand. And it also needs to be present tense as well. Present tense? Yes. So I am going to the store two. Two. Twice. By two times. Let's go to Mother Bank house. Uh, this one uh, is a bit more uh, physical as far as moving around. Yes. It's called freeze tag. Wait, what? You're right. Hey, good job, guys. It's getting in front of Alright, so this one, what happens is two people are given a scene, and what happens is the, it, it's really like about movement and moving your body. And Jeffrey and I will be like, or basically somebody like, uh, freeze! And we'll hop in for the person, we'll stand out, and we'll get right back in the position that they're in, and keep continue on with the scene. So um, we need a scene here, something that's like physically strenuous that gets us moving and our bodies moving. Surgery. Yes, surgery. Okay, so we're doing surgery. Uh, we'll start us off. You all want to do the first one too? Should we not have mics? I don't think mics are going to do this. Do we say stuff or do we just move? You can talk. Yeah, talk. Oh. Yeah, okay. You just say words. Put the mics down. Oh, wow. So you can see three specific things. We both can. John Hopkins, can we find? This looks sharp.
all of us heard this the doorknob just move on its own. And it was, it was so, so creepy. creepy. I decided to break and reach in for the loft. It's ghosts. <laughs> Uh, for the light, and uh, I reached into the dark on the round side of the door. I grabbed something soft, and I thought it was a hand, and I was just freaked out for a moment. We all ran out of the room. It was the time that happened. Like, there were like, what, eight of us? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there were. Well, there were seven of us, and then we kept saying that everything was made up this whole story, and then, like, at three o'clock, we were all gonna die. Yeah, yeah so, so we so were. No, we did lose some of them. Yeah, we did. And Daniel, the thing And right? then the house got locked, and we all got yeah, locked out in the cold. Dad, and it wasn't there was a bug in. And lights were flickering, it was great. And then yeah. Sam and I had this plan where we were gonna turn all the lights off, but then I could like it was all couldn't get back in the house because the door somewhere. was locked. Yeah. <laughs> and then your dad was blaming you for it. It was great. It was great. That's part as it goes, you're like, wow, these guys are idiots. They just kinda sat back and were like, we'll just let them do their own thing right like, now. But then the I think you and I were the last people to actually Yeah, there was a lot of We were not so six. Oh, yeah. I'm not trans. I'm not transit. She's not. See, she's not transited. Tri translation. Tri awesome translation. Yes. Yeah. So should we try that? I have a question for you. Yeah. So I want to give some bits of advice from each one of you. What would you say is something to keep in mind when it comes to being on stage and performing? Okay. Now a lot of people uh, say they get nervous or talk to me about getting like nervous in front of. I don't know. Funny uh, story. Um, about a week and a half ago, we were at a club in front of a thousand, like, seven hundred people. Yes. And we didn't even know what we were doing, but we just Any did it. Any idea what we were doing. <laughs> we didn't have time to rehearse, so, but it was but a, we a symphony doing. concert. And the day we, oh. I did, because I had, I had this, I, I stayed back in Vancouver for two days when they went to rehearse, because I had a session, or two sessions, and, yeah, I flew in the day of, and I, I got there a couple hours before the show, and just went on stage and just kind of watched what the person next to me was doing it, it, and it actually went really well yeah. so but yeah i don't know for me if you're not what i always feel like is if you're not uncomfortable talking to or interacting with every single one of the people that you'd see in the audience just talking one-on-one -on -one with them then it shouldn't be a problem talking to them all at once is that because everybody's a person you know and i don't know i, I kind of have a self-deprecating sense of humor it really is acting. I put on a show when I'm on stage, so if someone can judge how I'm behaving all they want, but they're not judging me because I'm not being me. I'm putting on a, a character. So it, I don't know. It's, it's, it's. I don't know. I, if I feel like it, I'm not being funny, then I'll just do something really stupid, and then I feel like. Build it. Build it. Right. It's like it's a self-deprecating sense of humor that we have when we're on stage. It's yes. like if we make a mistake, we'll laugh at we'll the laugh audience. At you know, yeah, because yeah. it. it if you're nervous, then I don't want to go into this. But basically, no if you have fun on stage, then no one's gonna judge you because right, right, you're because enjoying the experience with you. It's super awkward if you're singing a song and, and you, you forget the words, up, and everybody right, knows and it. You and you apologize. Like, That's the worst thing. I'm sorry. You can do. I'm sorry. I'm just that because then yeah. everyone feels uncomfortable for you because when you're watching someone on stage, or at least when I am, I feel like I'm in their position. So if they're embarrassed or if they're nervous, then I feel uncomfortable. So yeah, we mess up. We mess up a lot. <laughs> and we make fun of ourselves for it. And one thing I've heard people uh, like say, even my uh, younger sisters, um, and I was talking to them, I don't even remember what we were talking about, uh, but it was about confidence. And my sister was like, well, you know, I don't really have confidence. I'm like, well, see, even if you don't have confidence, they don't know that. So all you have to do is pretend like you have confidence. It's kind of a weird like thing to think about, but you might be nervous, but not everyone else has to know right, that. You know? There's something uh, saying that confidence isn't getting people to like you, it's not care if they like you or not. It's just do yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. It's like a the bully at school. Their opinion don't matter none. They don't know who you is. The thing about improv is they don't know if you're screwed up or not. Like what might be a big flop usually can turn out to be one of the funniest things ever. So yeah. That's why the Irish drinking song is everyone's favorite. Because sure, no sure. one can get through it. Oh, it's like it's a test to see how long it takes to build. That makes me, I will say, Irish drinking song is the most nerve-wracking game yeah, you play. Yeah, it's so stressful. It's, it's oh, definitely one of the hardest, too. Because you have to, have to rhyme. Yeah, and it's, it has to be in a beat. You, you don't have that time to think about but, it. And I always feel like after we did it, that it didn't turn out well. But then when I watch the footage back, I laugh 
It's so yeah. awkward. It's so yeah. awkward. Yeah. It's been fruit and Does anyone, by the way, if anyone has any questions or whatnot? Yeah, 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 absolutely. That's what it, this workshop is for. Oh, when it's like, I have that time. <laughs> I was so excited to answer the question. Too. Yes? What's your favorite improv game? Oh my gosh. Gibberish. Because gibberish we are gibberish. Fun. We are a living. But I don't know if it's my favorite. I love. Doing helping hands at MSP yeah, with, the, so with the food. The only yeah, problem is that requires cleanup. But that was so that was really fun. funny. And I also and expensive live. for me. I love. I spent like eighty dollars at Kroger. Oh my god! You didn't tell me that. They're like, I shipped in. I need these Doritos, these cakes, and ice. And like, what are you doing with this? Like, we're gonna smash it on our faces in front of two hundred people. Um, the, my favorite game, I think, is probably doing song improv. Actually, we're. Well, Fun. Yes, creating hits is so much fun. But I also love Switch. That's fun. Because it'll be on the topic and they say Switch and you have to immediately say the exact opposite. We're doing uh, a so, lot of these tomorrow. Today. 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 Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my bro. Oh. oh. Okay, go ahead and do that. That's my, my favorite is I'm actually going to say Irish drinking song because it's so hard. Do you like you a challenge? I like the challenge, but also because. What works with Irish drinking song is it's funny if you guys if if you get it right, but I think it almost is funnier when you don't. Like when everyone starts messing up, that's where I'm like, oh my gosh, this is hilarious. Uh, and also like one thing that we started doing and it was the most random thing going back to MSP was Gabe was like, I just want to sing a song, and we just started singing, and no one it was. Completely unrehearsed, nobody knew where anyone was going with it, and it turned into like this beautiful melody. I saw him there, staring at me. My eyes locked. Larson! I said, Larson! <laughs> and so, yeah, I, I'd say, I mean, I, I could go down a line though. I mean, there's a lot of them that are just so much fun. The Reckless Cut is my favorite. See, I haven't, I haven't heard we did that. Song. We did that in Wisconsin, and in that one, like, you all come in Who's Lines anyway. Yeah. Let's be honest, let's ask a professional legend to make this a long ago. Yeah. Well, I mean, the ones we good. Yeah. And, uh, Richard Scott's been like, you have these three on stage acting out a scene, like from a movie, let's say Star Wars. And, uh, I'll run up there and say, okay, guys, uh, this is boring. Do it like some of the South or something like that. Oh. And just change it completely. And it just, uh, it's great because you take what they have and you just go in a completely different direction. And then I always told that to comedy at its core is the unexpected, like, do something out of the blue and make it well times. Randomness is, is great. Randomness is not professional. <laughs> yes. Professional random people. I think it's, it, it's true. It's kind of like what you guys were saying to her like, earlier, where if you're having fun on stage, most likely the people in the audience are having fun yeah. with you. Yeah. Well, well, more questions. That's why we watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> well, no questions at all? Far away. Because we... No, I'm sorry. I misunderstood the schedule. You actually have... We're supposed to till 2.30, sorry. Mm. You're good. You can do it. Well, thanks. Oh. I was in wrap up mode. We were skipping this oh, workshop wrap up, workshop wrap up. Yeah, it's going. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. Any questions on the guy? It could, it could, yes. You guys keep coming back to Irish Drinking Song. Hey, good one? Irish Drinking Song? That's an excellent question. Yeah. No. Yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Irish drinking song. Irish drinking song. I can't play upside like down. <laughs> More reds now. Alright, so. Wait, is Michael doing? Yes. I think he's doing it. Oh, bye. He's like, Irish drinking song. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> you literally <laughs> asked that, then he left. Is he left. Is he really leaving? No. Oh, no. Where is he going? Is he putting his piano hands on? <laughs> <laughs> He's getting his stunt double there. Oh, my God. Tell him my son got through it. I'm just here to watch. I'm just dead, Michael. Hey, it's always. He's coming. Uh huh. TMI. Oh. Really? Oh. That's between us. I've heard that before. Hey! Oh, wait, hey, 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 I just read some book. Uh, I forgot. Oh, All right, and that's the case that we need a uh, suggestion from the audience, so I was reading some about them. That's so Haunted, haunted, haunted this. Haunted this. Haunted, 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 haunted,
that adjective. I was right the first time, so I unpacked my adjectives. I always think that he was a hairy bear, he was a scary bear. Adjective describes something. Yes. I was a berry bear. A berry a berry bear. A berry bear. Alright, so we're doing it about haunted house, right? We're doing it about haunted house. Oh, Phil's here! Yeah. Let's talk about the haunted house here and that's haunted, right? Alright, okay. Alright, so are you going to start? I'm not. No. Yes, sure, why not? The, the hardest positions wear saving well. skill. Yes! <laughs> now, now you're going to deal with them. Alright. Yes. yes. Alright, all set? Oh! oh. 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 I went ghost hunting. And then we were done. The bathroom door was creaking. It was very creepy. We ran over the hills and turned into sheepies. Oh, I I I I I I I I I am to go ghost hunting. I bring my gun. Then I bring the flashlight. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters. Wait, what was that noise? It came from the door. Why? 
Change the key? Oh, I do like it. I'm wondering though if we should swap some, yeah, swap like, yeah. Change places! Um, change places! Okay. You wanna do it slower so you're not No. And modulates. I don't know what that means. Yeah, we'll, we'll start out low, and then we'll start going higher. Oh, I don't And then we'll. Okay, what's our topic, though? Well, higher and faster. Practice. You're ruining your food. You're ruining your food. Love it. Ah, that's a good one. That's, that's a good one. I kicked him in the shin. You are the space. Oh, I did, I did, I did, I The food was my favorite. It was my favorite food. What is Taco Bell? Yes, it didn't taste like food. It was my favorite. But I didn't get to eat. It was gone. So let's go find the Oh, man. 
Anyway, okay, so I guess we have, we'll have 15 minutes left, so if you have any questions, or do you want to hear from some stupid stories? Stupid stories are so weird. I love stupid stories. Are you going in a row or something? Huh? Yeah. What? Don't we have done it. Michelle and I have done some really stupid stories. Okay, one more thing. Was it just must... thing after thing went horribly? <gasps> that, no, not went horribly. The swimming pool and the police. Yes! Okay. Yes! Okay. So the hotel we were at in Muskegon was a, had a 24 hour pool. And so we both went. Yeah, so we both went down at like, I don't know how, some late time. And we found this this caution cone. And we put it in the pool. Because well, nobody was there. So. Like nobody was there. And there are amazing things. Like, I, one thing I learned, it. just, uh, it was a wet floor yeah, it was just a Nobody wet. needed it. <laughs> Someone broke their. I swear it started in the pool. She actually took a uh, picture of it sitting on the bottom of the pool and said, Caught the wet floor. Very informative. But, um, yeah, one thing I've learned from living with, you know, five crazy family members is that, well, four really. Mom's the only sane one. She could just all get I'm sorry, by the way. It's no wonder you always have tension in your back. But, um, that's what she wants for Christmas. Massage. I'm not kidding. But, um, yeah, you're not kidding. Yeah, sorry. I think I bring it to you. This is our mom and dad, by the way. Yeah, mom and dad. Anyway. Uh, where, was, where was I going with this? Yeah, one thing I've learned is that, uh, in a, if you take something that's not meant to be in a swimming pool and you put it in, it becomes exponentially more interesting. Yeah. Like tiny kids? Like children? Yes, yes. Wait, no, tell them. Ferrets? Oh, yeah. Okay, tell them. <laughs> Because it was like a pool noodle, and you could kind of like sit on top you of it. Like, it was like semi-neutrally yeah. buoyant, yeah. float. And so she, Michelle, just Completely without like, even thinking, yeah. just is riding on it. She goes, "I am a little pony." That's what she said. But that wasn't the funny part. The funny part is that it was like in Fahrenheit because we're in America now. Yeah. Canadian and Canadian it, it was freezing. It was below freezing. And it was so like 20 degrees. We were daring oh. each other to go run outside, and we were like doing somersaults in the grass and cartwheels and all this crap. My back was so itchy the next day. Oh. Remember, I was like, why is my back so itchy? Because yeah. I was somersaulting in the grass. Oh my gosh, I just realized. And then yeah. all of a sudden, like the second time that so, I moved yeah. by, we're going up there for longer, longer periods of time, doing stupid, stupid things. Of course, in our bathing suit, practically steaming because it's freezing out there. Um, Michelle goes out. She jumps on top of a picnic table, starts doing this stupid dance, and then she starts doing cartwheels in the grass. And all of a sudden, this spotlight. And she's like, <laughs> and she goes, she goes, walks very casually into the pool, and the light shuts off, and it's this cop car. Just sitting there now, and he stays there probably forty minutes, yeah. just watching us. And then, and it wasn't fun anymore. And then they were all in the crib, and it was then the security guard in the hotel. But we couldn't tell who it was because we just see the silhouette. But I see him in the reflection of the dark window. I see the silhouette of someone yeah, behind us. Like, like someone's this. watching us. Yes, sure. But we weren't doing like you know we weren't like doing anything wrong. Like they were so, mad at us for putting the caution code. Just they, they were just watching waves, us. He's like, <laughs> and then he left. And then she was smiling too. He was like, I couldn't see his face. I just saw a dark outline. Okay, so I have a story to follow this one up. So since we're talking this about last week, we're talking about um, lights from cop cars. Okay. <laughs> so uh, yes. Yesterday, uh, Saber and I were, were driving around, and uh, uh, no, I, I was being held hostage. He was he was held hostage <laughs> in the uh, passenger seat, and uh, the driver window. I've never driven this car before. But the driver window, uh, and I didn't realize this until really late into the game. Uh, it's the only window that did it in the car, but when you put it down, it makes this horrible <coughs> And it goes up like a third of the pace of a normal window, so it's <coughs> <coughs> And that's like half one. <laughs> and so, you know, we're like, oh my gosh, we have to go through a drive through And then I like, go up to a window, right? And film it! And film it! It's gonna be the best! We're gonna be like, you know, we have to do two this. Alright, here we go. So we go through and it's perfect because we went to a Wendy's and they have the two windows, which is not so common anymore, where they have the one where you pay and then the one where you get your food. And I'm like, this is great. We could do it twice. <laughs> do it to the first one. <laughs> the guy's like, literally like, I'm not waiting for this. He's sticking his hand through the window. I'll take your credit card. Okay, here you go. And we're just sitting there like, <laughs> 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 
somewhere like that, like the, the guy looking at your burgers and squishing it through the window. <laughs> And he was like, here you go. And we're like, man. And we started talking about different scenarios about, like, man, where would this be, like, the worst thing to happen? So, on my way back, uh, I saw a bright light all of a sudden in the mirror. And blue flashing lights. No, the best part of all is when you look back and you're like, this is cop cars. Those are cop car I headlights. I police behind me before I something was even completed. Like, go, boop, boop. Yeah, that's a cop. Oh no. So I'm unfamiliar with the area and I was accidentally going a little bit too fast. Okay. Like 20 miles an hour, yeah. a little bit. And, but, so what happens is, here we are with this window, right? And the before cop's walking up. Before we did though, we, we decided, he decided, let's pull over in the next safe spot. And there's a car that's already pulled to the side. And there's this mom with her son, and her son's like, Bleh! And he's holding the kid's head, and she sees him pull up with a cop car behind him, and she's like, <laughs> no joke! The cop's like, you here because of them? And I'm, 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 I'm like, yes. <laughs> See, now we needed us. Now the cop, the cop parks, right? And I'm just like, oh crap, the window. <laughs> and so I'm like, quick, quick, quick. <laughs> and the guy's just you know, walking up. And just. <laughs> just walking in. And I like, had it stopped like three quarters of the way. I'm like, you know, poking my head out, like, yes, officer. <laughs> Can I help you? And uh, I had to get the whole window down. So he just stood there while. You know how fast you're. Do you know how fast you're. Yes, officer. <laughs> so yeah, so it was uh, it was just one of those moments that we, we said, what if that happened? And it did. Best moment of all was like you were being released to me about it, like it wasn't a car. Like, yeah, officer, we were delivering this car and stuff to this Meadowbrook Center, and, uh, and you're like, I was just trying to keep up with the flow of traffic. Like I'm like, dude. You were the only one on the road! <laughs> You're the only one here. What happened was, it wasn't my first time driving down that road, and everybody, like, going the speed limit, like, I'm from California, and I understand people not going the speed limit, all right? Like, when they say 65, and you go 65, people are honking at you on the freeway. <laughs> well, on some of the streets over here, it was, like, the same scenario, except I was, like, already going five over, and I had cars, like, trying to, like, hit me, and I'm like, okay, so obviously I'm not, I'm not going fast enough. And over. I guess so, tell that to the cop. <laughs> and so, yeah, and I was like, well, yeah, you know, I, and I was referencing traffic from earlier, but the way I said it, he was like, no, you were the only one out here. Like, well, you were here too. The thing is, we were during, like, when the cop was back, we're like, you think, you think he's dirty? You think, should, should we like, should play the like, oh, sir, sir, best card? Like, oh, take it. How am I going to react to this? You know my YouTube channel? <laughs> Gabe and uh, I were saying that when we were going, we were crossing the border because we were just in Ottawa. Right. We're going back we here. thought it'd be so, okay. so funny. All the time, uh, this is the weird. So I have Nexus now. It makes it a lot easier for me to get into Canada. But for some reason, when I go through Nexus to get back into the States, you they interrogate me. Why are you in Canada? Where are you going? Mm, how old are you? How much money country. do you have in your bank account? Well, that's the last time you're, you went to Canada. You're allergic to Tanger. <laughs> <laughs> No, they're, they're ridiculous. So I thought it'd be fun, because I'm always answering these stupid questions, to just answer them the same way, with the same voice, but, with this, but with this expression. <laughs> I just had them stare at me like, where are you going? Oh, good one. Why are you doing that? Like, why are you making that face? Okay. Why are you It's like, answering everything just as seriously as I can with this. <laughs> and just see what they would do. I'm surprised they let you be there, but I didn't because he looked serious. So, yeah. They're very intimidating. So yeah, that's that. But how did they ask where I was going? Where I was going? And I said Alabama. They're looking on their list of states and like B B B B. Oh, he's lying. So, how are we doing on time? The territory. <laughs> Uh, five five minutes, minutes. minutes. Yes. There's yeah. actually no states that we have before. That was yeah. The, Birmingham is not a state. <laughs> Boston, <laughs> Boston, Boston not a state. Massachusetts is not a state. Bermuda, Baltimore, that's a state of chaos. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I live there and I agree. Yes. We used to die by that. Doom chaos. This one would be right at home. Yes, indeed. It's supposed to be awesome early August. It's, I gotta say, Baltimore is the only place that I've, all, I've been twice. <laughs> oh, and then, and they my always, sisters. They're like freaking out. Oh my gosh. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my gosh. We should applaud if they walk yes. in the screen. Yes. 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 Yes, yeah, yeah, just got yeah, yeah. applauding as loud as you Aww. can. But I was just going to say that Baltimore is the only place I've been that has greeted me two times in the two times I've been there with a uh, bomb alert or whatever it is when all the, like, the bomb squads show up and you're just like, oh, I remember that. We, we thought they were the bomb squad slash UPS truck. We're like, yeah. The director made sound. Yeah. Thanks. You went there to the Oh, yes. Thousand people sprawled the streets. It's not fun. Oh, that's always. Oh no, I saw that. I remember that. Wait, this is burning. Are you talking about burning? Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, wait, on. Okay, no, because there was a. Someone told me this story. Who wasn't told me this story? They said there was this guy, this old guy, maybe he'd sit like in his seventies, and his wife walking down the street of Baltimore, right when the con ended, and a bunch of people just spilled out in their costumes and their ears, and the, the guy was just like. So confused. Oh, hey! Hey! Oh, no! uh, my sisters, everyone. Susanna and Naomi. <laughs> Susanna, you guys may not know, a voice is in a lot of my animations. So Rainbow Licious, she voiced Rainbow Dash in that. And she also, in the first Final Scratch thing where I made her eyes red and then there's a mega controversy, uh, she voiced Final Scratch in that too. Way to go. So that's Susanna. She doesn't do anything. <laughs> she's an artist and she's incredible, but she refuses to to draw me my, my OC. <laughs> <laughs> it's a griffin. It is a griffin. Thank you. <laughs> See? Is that even that is easy? Alright, anyway. So I think that's been five minutes. Yep. Two, no, there's been three. Are you kidding me? Ha ha ha! 